Nardis back at it, this time showing you how to make these barrels for your six inch model legends. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so let's just dive right in and start off with supplies. You're gonna need some 150 grit sandpaper. Uh, that's kind of optional, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, some silly sludge, of course. This is gonna be your barrel. For a base coat, I use this Apple Barrel Black acrylic paint, basically like a primer. For the color of the metal of the barrel, I use this gunmetal gray as a base coat from Folk Art. And then I use this sterling silver from Folk Art, which is uh, also a metallic paintbrush to get everything painted. Some matte acrylic spray to seal in all the newly painted details. Some tacky glue. The tacky glue, I'm using that to apply these little caution toxic chemical signage that I made on Photoshop so they are to scale. And let's begin. So we are going to begin by removing all the packaging from the silly sludge. Next, you're going to want to grab some of that sandpaper and cut a piece so it fits comfortably in your on your fingers and go ahead and rough up that surface and sand it down on the barrel uh, for one of two reasons the main one that it makes the paint adhere better when it's got a porous surface and secondly because it gives it a textured surface so once we have it sanded down we're going to apply our base coat I like to use the the black for this so I'll just I use a piece of foam core, just for like a little palette, and go ahead and run some black over that as a, basically like a primer. So that way the metal has a darker appearance. The metal would look brighter if you used a white for a base coat, but black looks better, especially for barrels. Just get that painted off in portions and let it dry. So now that we've got that all base coated, you can even just do some touch-ups if need be. And I'm coming in with the gunmetal gray. This is going to be my base color. So you can already start to see this barrel take into some life. So I like to get this first initial coat on as well covered as possible. Just coming back in and you need a little touch up coat. You can do as many coats as you like. I normally do about two coats. Actually like one and a half. Because like I said, I don't mind if a little bit in some areas of that black pokes out, which you can even see on this, you don't see it. And now I purposely take black and I want to color in all the deeper portions that would be collecting dust or dirt or have, you know, more contact with that stuff. And then just, that's all. Just your antiquing the aging of it so you know spread it out that's just the black then I come back again come back with the silver I'm gonna add some highlights right now so not too much just a little bit here and there of some of the silver to give it some more texture and volume now I'm gonna come back with some gunmetal to cover some of that up and fade it in to make it look a little bit more organic. Just adding some more of the gunmetal. And then go 
just blending it, blending it in. Oops. Give it a good texture. You see how it looks so much more realistic, more lively. Not bad for a slime barrel, right? <laughs> then some acrylic spray. So I'm spraying this on there just to seal in. It's a matte finish, so there's no shine on it. And this is just to seal in that acrylic paint. So it's once you've given that paint some time to dry. So I made these little danger toxic chemical signs. They are to scale for six inch, um, for these six inch scale barrels. So I printed those out on my printer. To apply these, I use this tacky glue permanent tacky glue and this stuff works great for when you're working on uh, dioramas and just other crafts that you need some good sticking glue so I just apply a little of that tap tacky glue and spread it around and I know I'm going to put this in the center of the barrel. You could be more precise and mark off the center with a little marker or a pencil if you want to get super accurate. Um, I just kind of shoot from the hip and eyeball these bad boys when I place them on there. So I'm going to go ahead and don't forget you could move the lid around. It's time to move on to the next one and let's get this second one on there a little bit of glue again and now you can go ahead and add this to your arsenal for dioramas display pieces a couple of barrels you've got my tutorial for how to make those wooden pallets as well I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to be up to date with what I put out, go ahead and subscribe. I don't put out very often, but when I do, it is useful content. Wow.